A massive thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now Norton just announced the full details and specs of their long awaited, completely re-engineered, super bling looking super bike, the V4 SV. And I've got to admit, out of everything on the spec sheet, there was one thing that really did pop out at me, and that's the price, 44,000 pounds. You know, for context, you could get a Ducati Panigale V4 SP, which is their fully specced out track focus weapon, and you'd still have almost 10 grand in your pocket to take home. Or BMW just announced their 50 years edition of their incredible looking M1000RR. This one also gets the complete work, so all their carbon bits, all their billet extras, and a flashy new paint job and logo. And again, that one's about 35 grand as well, so a massive amount cheaper than the Norton. Can it possibly be anywhere near worth it? Well, in this video, we'll go through all the details and find out exactly what you get for your money. So first up, you do get quite a tasty looking engine. It's their liquid cooled 1200cc 72 degree V4. And as you'd imagine, it does sound pretty sweet. Performance though, well, it's good, but not astounding. You see the Indian manufacturing company TVS took over Norton a couple of years back. And as part of that deal, they inherited this V4 platform as their flagship bike. And it would have been a shame to completely ditch it and just start from square one. But it does mean that by now, the performance figures are a little behind the competition. So 185 horsepower peak at 12,500 RPM and 125 Newton meters of peak torque at 9,000. RPM. Both the Ducati and the BMW are making well over 200 horsepower. And while you might argue that 185 horses is more than enough for like 99.9% .9 of riders and barely anyone could make use of a full 215 horses, you know, when you get to this sort of money, it's got to be a bit about bragging rights. And from that perspective, the Norton is a good amount behind. The chassis does look pretty stunning though, partly thanks to a frame that's made from aerospace grade aluminium, and it was developed during the Isle of Man TT. It's TIG welded together at Norton's HQ in the UK with tubular aluminium sections attached to their CNC aluminium outriggers and headstock. Now its sporting intentions are pretty clear because it gets an adjustable geometry, so an adjustable rake angle, steering offset and swing arm pivot. And speaking of which, the swing arm itself is also pretty stunning. It's single sided, underslung, it gets a rising rate linkage and like the frame, is polished up to a mirror finish. Now the whole lot is suspended on the creme de la creme of Olin's mechanical suspension. So up front, there's a fully adjustable NIX 30 fork and at the rear, a TTX GP shock, which Norton say was developed specifically for them. And again, it's fully adjustable. The only thing I will say is that you might expect at this price point, like the Ducati to get semi-active electronically adjustable suspension. You know, the basic idea is that it constantly tweaks the damping in real time time and that helps to deliver the optimal ride and handling given the current riding circumstances. Now maybe on the track regular mechanically adjustable suspension is preferable but for me on the road I really like the option to switch between something comfortable and then something more firm and sporty just at the push of a button. But perhaps Norton just aren't there yet in terms of tech. They're a pretty small setup after all. It does get beautiful billet yokes on the fork though and an Olin steering damper and then a full on Brembo braking setup. So twin 330mm discs at the front, Brembo four pot radial monoblock calipers, a Brembo master cylinder, Brembo discs, and then the same at the rear. So a full Brembo setup on a single 245mm disc. It does look pretty top notch in almost every regard but again you'd have to flag up that the total weight for this bike isn't really competing with the other super premium super bikes that i've mentioned it's about 20 kilograms heavier when you directly compare their listed dry weights but onto the tech and it is pretty well kitted out so there's led lighting all around keyless ignition with an electronic steering lock although the fuel filler cap is still manual 
a full color six inch TFT display. And through that, you can manage the three riding modes. So it gets rain, road and sport. There's an inertial measurement unit for lean sensitive traction control, an up and down quick shifter, and probably the coolest feature is their rear facing camera. They've still got to fit mirrors to homologate the bike, but still, I love the idea of this on a bike and I can't wait to try it out. Motorcycle dash cams like this one from Rexin, you know, that has a little screen so that you can see what's on the camera. And this is super affordable, small and discreet. So why shouldn't manufacturers integrate them directly into the bike? But overall, you know, while it's not the most comprehensive tech package, you don't get things like phone integrations with the TFT dash. It's still reasonably competitive. And that rear camera is a nice little USP. I am noticing a bit of a pattern here with the engine, the chassis, the tech, they all look good, but not 44 grand exceptional. And I think the specialness of this bike lies elsewhere. Firstly, the finish, because it has to be said, it's certainly an eye-catching motorcycle. You get a carbon fuel tank and carbon bodywork. There's that polished aluminium frame and swing arm that I mentioned. And then you get two color options. So the typical Norton Manx Silver, that one comes with red forged aluminium OZ racing wheels. And then there's also a black carbon option, which gets BST carbon wheels. Not only do they add a little bit of extra bling, but they should also liven up the handling a little bit. And then it's worth adding that both bikes get the Union Jack tail section. And the reason for that is because it's completely designed and made in the UK, which is the other big thing that Norton are pushing about this bike. And I guess that's a big part in the price. It's made at their new multi-million pound factory in Solihull in Birmingham, which was unveiled earlier this year. And it really does look impressive. I'm hoping to get up there for a tour soon and show you some of it in a video. But yeah, Norton say in the press release that it's the only British designed and built superbike in production in the UK. And so if that sort of thing is up your street and you've got the cash, then I guess it could well be worth it. And so I think that's where Norton are going with this one. It's always going to be difficult to compete with the big guns on the out and out specs, but they can offer that small run handcrafted heritage brand vibe that will definitely make it very appealing to collectors and whatnot. What's also interesting is that they're more so pitching it as a road bike than they are as a out and out track weapon. In fact, they say in the press release that it was imagined on the track at the Isle of Man TT, but was born on the road and that short gearing and engaging power make this a perfect road bike. Now look, there are some awesome track reviews of this bike already out there. And so I definitely recommend checking some of them out. But Norton have said that I can get hold of one of these for a road test in a not too distant future. So we'll find out what it's really like on the road and do subscribe if you're new here and you want to see that video when it goes live. In the meantime, I'll leave you with this message from today's video sponsor, Squarespace. It's a super easy place to make a website with absolutely loads of beautiful looking templates to choose from. But beneath the surface, there's much more to it. You can grow a whole community with their powerful features for creating gated members only content, as well as email communications and useful audience insight. You can also start a blog with full threaded comments for your audience. You can automatically cross post from your social media profiles. And there are loads of third party extensions to help with starting an online store like inventory management, global shipping and more. So simply head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash motobob and you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So once again a massive thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video.